guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. And there's a brand new card. You guys have probably heard about it on Twitter or seen the 15 YouTube notifications all at the same time letting you guys know about it. But today, I figured, you know what? I'm not probably adequate to explain and break down this new card to you guys, which, by the way, is none other than the Goblin Cage, an interesting card. So, I wanted to invite a pro player on my man, Sir Tag, from the YouTube and Twitch fame as well. Tag, welcome back to the channel, man. How you doing? Hey, man. I'm doing fantastic, and it's nice to be here. It's nice to have you back, man. And I think the last time I had you on is the last new card, Wall Breakers, I think, right? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, man. We're back in business. New yeah, card, we got we to gotta talk more video. often, man. Not just when the new cards come up, you know? It's like the <laughs> holidays. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you think of Goblin Cage? First and well, let me just read the card. When the Goblin Cage is destroyed, the Goblin Brawler is unleashed into the arena. Goblin Brawler never skips leg day. He is fast moving. Uh, and here at, this is tournament level standard, actually, that we're looking at right now. And these are the stats here. And this is the stats of the, uh, again, it is tournament level standard, the Goblin Brawler himself so 853 hp 1.1 uh hit speed same as a goblin and his damage is 211 which is a a bit lower dps than say like a lumberjack tag impressions on this new building that essentially dies and spawns a brawler yeah so it has 211 damage that's mm -hmm. going to be slightly more than double of a singular goblin it has slightly less than half of the HP of a Valkyrie. So mm -hmm. it has interesting proponents. It moves very fast. So despite it having lower HP than a Valkyrie, its counter push potential I think is better. Yeah. But it seems a little bit awkward, honestly. It's a, it's a card at four Elixir. And for four Elixir, when you're using a defensive structure, typically you really need to have that air defense. You see with Bomb Tower, even at four Elixir right now after the buff, it still isn't being used. So a lot of people typically will end up preferring maybe the Tesla or the Inferno Tower if you're going to be using a defensive structure for four or five Elixir. I, I don't really know if this is going to have a place in minor control, um, but I, I, if it gets down to three Elixir, if they change it, I think it could actually be a lot more interesting. Okay, just, so you think yeah. maybe just not enough value for the four Elixir? And, yeah, probably not. And by the way, I'm going to play the replay. We just tr played it uh, against each other for the first time here, guys. And I used the Dirty Dirty Spawner deck. Could Spawner be back? Uh, so I kind of tend to agree with you, actually, Tag, on your assessment of its strength. But, like, as with any new card, they could always buff it. So, like, looking at it big picture in terms of, like, is this card cool or not cool? Or is it is it could it be really good? I think that if they buff the Brawler, it could be really good. And maybe it could be really good, but we're just... I think we asked each other both off-air a tag. Like, are we missing something here? Like, is there is there some archetype that this make, this card makes, like, incredibly better? And we're going to test out some live matches against each other to kind of test out two decks that we both thought it might fit in well, aside from the Dirty Dirty Spawner here. Uh, but one thing cool about a tag is that it is anti-Earthquake to an extent, because... Like, even Earthquake, obviously, it can kill the Goblin Cage, but the Brawler still is alive and well, and it has to be answered and responded to on the opposite end, you know? Yeah, so there's two super cool things about it is it's a little bit better than a Tombstone for counter push potential, right? So yeah. after the Goblin Cage dies, the benefit of it is it's not going to be able to be zapped. So say your opponent has a Giant on it, they kill it, they poison, well, the poison's not going to end up killing the Goblin Cage and killing the Goblin or the Goblin Brawler, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to take some time getting used to calling it Goblin Brawler. Right, and you can but... see it right now on the screen, guys, against the Hog, and you can see it, it counters Hog, yeah. like hard counters, even if that Furnace wasn't there, if it was in the appropriate spot, and Tag has to respond to the Brawler on defense. So, like, it's not, a, it's an interesting card, you know? It's it's not, a, and look at how much trouble you have responding to it for the first time here. You have to cycle all <laughs> yeah. your cards, and it's, just, it's kind of annoying, you know? It, it does... At tournament level standard, a little bit over 1,000 damage unchecked to a Princess Tower. So you have to respond to it. And it's very fast too. So it's not something that should be taken lightly, right? So mm -hmm. if a Valkyrie is counter pushing, yes, it can get a lot of damage on your tower, but you have a lot of time to respond to it, right? But after, say, someone overcommits with a huge push, this, move, this Goblin Brawler is going to be moving exceedingly quickly to your opponent's tower, and it's going to deal some serious damage to you if you're not well prepared. So Wait a that's, 
Yeah. I'm starting to think that you're you're starting to talk me into the card. We started out we're like it's kind of underwhelming, and now I'm just like you know what? There's a lot of uses here. Kind of, it's weird. I mean, look at Snowball and Barbarian Barrel. They That's were terrible, true. and then they became amazing. Look so at Wall I'm just looking at the upside. It's still terrible. <laughs> Honestly, dude, Wall Breakers are not terrible with uh, Mortar Bait. I, I, know. I would say, I, I would say a couple things. Uh, a couple of these cards that are very very niche. Like wall breakers, I think they're only going to be ever used in like mortar bait cycle decks. And I think like Night Witch, it's not that great of a card right now, but it works in Golem. So there, there are definitely cards that are generally not very good, but they have a slight place in the game. Fair enough. Like Cannon Car, I mean, well, it's not good. It needs a buff clearly, but it still fits. Yeah. When, it, when, it, when it's doing well, it fits in graveyard decks. Same thing with the Bowler, kind of. So I kind of hear you on that, that point. That's a fair enough point. Uh, and yeah, I guess that, I don't know, I guess I'll play this in double speed so we can actually play it live and kind of walk us through what we're thinking about it as we, we go against each other here. And this is the first time you actually used it right now in the match. Like you played it in 2.6 uh, against me in this match here instead of cannon. How did it feel instead of cannon? Well, against spawner, it felt really bad, right? Because That's true, I can't, right? <laughs> I can't kill any of the, uh, I can't kill anything with it, anything, right? It's yeah, unlike yeah. the Tombstone, where the Tombstone is great at distracting Spear Goblin, so then your tower can finish off the Spear Goblin, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas this, it doesn't really spawn anything as a distraction. Um, it, I thought it would be really cool if the Goblin was maybe throwing something like a Spear Goblin, or, or I, I don't know, maybe like a ranged Tombstone. I was hoping that would be the initial card concept, to be honest. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it needs to have... Some attribute of, I, I don't know, there needs to be a little bit of a change. There just needs to be something extra here. The great thing about it that I really love the unique ability of, hey, after it dies, it spawns something that doesn't immediately die to zap or a spell. So I'm going to get utility after I bring something in the middle. If it was a lower elixir cost, maybe like one to two elixir, and it spawned like a skeleton or something, or spawned like a spear goblin, you know, that would be pretty cool because it would be a different elixir count. And uh, at four or five, I feel like it always needs to damage air. It's just, I feel like a building like that is kind of unplayable unless you're playing a heavy bait deck, like you're going to see soon. I think that goblins and bait cards are going to be prevalent with it because as you see in mortar bait, a lot of the bait cards allow you to get away with uh, a mortar, which is a four elixir cost unit. And you mm -hmm. don't actually have to have adequate spell def or adequate air defenses because you end up having a lot of uh, capability of playing super aggressive with the bait card so your opponent really can't piece together really aggressive pushes yeah that's true that's true i have a, a request up by the way uh so okay. you think it will fit in like uh maybe mortar bait and like log bait yeah that's probably what i would only potentially consider running it right now because you can get away with uh without okay. running too many air defenses like that prince deck right that you see around that doesn't have yeah. a burrow tower at Tesla, like, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe that. Okay, let's go open up. Do you, do you see this card as a card that's generally played where I just played it? Or is it behind the tower, do you think? Oh, definitely where you played it. Uh, it's only going to be used on defense, right? It's That's the only reason I would ever use it, is to get counter push after killing something. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, you're probably going to be running an Expo or Graveyard deck. Probably Graveyard. Bingo, bango. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Let's see if that works. <laughs> I think it's going to do the job just fine because you yeah, have poison. So, yeah, I'm trying it out in a graveyard deck here. Thought process, of course, being, uh man, let's see how Goblin Cage versus Goblin Cage works out here. You know the other negative of it? It's an individual unit, so it can definitely get pulled to the King Tower. If you didn't already have King Tower activated and you're playing against a... Uh, graveyard deck or a golem deck and they activate king tower because it's a singular unit it could be a little bit sketchy then yeah yeah that's true yeah so i, I guess there are benefits and there are negatives of it it's just depending on a little bit of a matchup I, I would say yeah it's it's an interesting it's definitely like a, i don't know i, I want to see how it try how it does in my other deck here but yeah it's definitely like one of those cards that hmm i guess i'm just gonna be undecided on it you know so essentially, you took out Tombstone, right? I did. Another thing that I guess I could do is I could put like a Goblin Cage here and protect my Rascals, right? It doesn't really matter because I had Thick Boy still alive, but yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's kind of okay. Yeah. 
I'm being like, I'm playing very cautiously. I'm trying to like get a feel for what it's gonna take to take this dude down, you know? And I think I've got this under control even though. <clears throat> you got poison in hand, which sucks. Oh no. It's burping on my tower ass. <laughs> That's not allowed. That. What is what is that Dark Prince doing, man? Alright. This brawler though. I gotta say, he is defensively, he's a pain, man. He can almost finish off my uh He can almost finish off my uh Whatchamacallit? Your knight? Or yeah, my it? knight. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna sure, let yeah. that Let's go. go. Goblin cage and goblin cage right here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully that doesn't go towards my tower. <laughs> okay, good. It sucks because, uh, you know what? This is not that bad of a, uh, like, he's not that bad in this matchup so far, I feel like. No, I think, like, well, we're both using him pretty extensively because we're forced yeah. to, right? He's yeah. a good unit at being able to distract, like, splash units. I, I think it's way better than Tombstone in that regard, right? I'm able to distract a baby dragon. I'm just able to distract mm -hmm. an ice wizard with bait cards that need that support, right? I need that foundation of something that's not going to die to spell bait. Yeah, I, I look at him. Like, he's holding his own over here. Yeah. Definitely doing pretty okay. Yeah. Do you like that Spear Goblin placement so then you can't activate King? Like, yeah, that was actually really, you... really good. Yeah. yeah. That's actually really important to do if you play Goblin Gang against Greybeard. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. Actually, I don't have to really worry too much about this because of the... Uh, let's see. Probably... Uh, get it, get it, knight, get it! Oh, oh! oh no, I had to redirect the knight! <laughs> oh well my god, dude! It's, you know what, I think it's safe to say, tag, that, uh, graveyard! Dude, I'll, I'll, I'll no, nah, seriously though? I don't know if it's gonna fit in a graveyard deck, but all of a sudden, I can't believe this is happening live in the video. But yeah. all of a sudden, I'm kind of changing my opinion on him. I'm changing my tune a little bit on the card. Like, it's pretty good. He's he's kind of annoying to deal with, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, yeah, I felt like there were some situations where the fast movement speed definitely threw me off a little bit. He moves fast. He hits like not any faster than a goblin, but he's like he's fast moving and he's. He's just tanky enough to be he's like super annoying, you know? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna try him in a well, I already know what you're playing, right? Mortar bait? Um, maybe. Okay, we'll okay, see. okay. I'm gonna try him in a three musky deck. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how he does. The only thought process <laughs> here is that obviously uh he can like, especially in double laser time, I don't think he's gonna be baiting out any spells. But I think he could, uh... Okay, nice ice golem there, Ash. OP. <laughs> OP play. This is gonna I be mean, tricky. I think he's a pretty interesting card. Well, the unfortunate thing is I actually have to defend this princess now. Which, usually against Tombstone, right? I wouldn't have to. Yeah. Okay, so you got a very interesting 3M deck. I, I don't know about uh, having double like buildings in it, right? Yeah, you did. My, I mean, the thought process... You're right, though, about the uh, princess there. Can I protect the princess with the goblin cage? You can. <laughs> or is that just a meme? <laughs> I don't know that. How meme is that? It worked out for you, man. That wasn't terrible, yeah. This is... Uh, I should have just... See, the, the trick... It's not tricky, but, like, I'm wondering if it's smart to... To use it like defensively in a panic situation, like at the bridge, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm I don't gonna, know. I'm just gonna. I think it's that. too hard to cycle two of them to uh, pull a balloon to the king tower as well, which is something that I was a little bit hesitant on. I wonder if Goblin Gang is able to protect my princess here. That's gonna be inter interesting nope. interaction. Well, <laughs> I'm, not, not I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you see, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let you see that one, Jake. I've taken okay. too much. Yeah, I've taken too much ship damage here. So my thought process here is just to try to kind of, uh, ooh, nice, well played, well played, well played. Thanks. Just try to, try to live till double elixir time, but it's not looking too. Yeah, this is actually a pretty okay matchup for me this time. 
Yeah. Are we gonna do? So, I think it might actually be able to work in graveyard decks if they uh, decrease the elixir count. But it, it's hard, man. It's hard to say what's actually gonna be really good with it and what's not well, gonna be good sucked. with it. <laughs> I was like, are you running just NATO, no spell, or what's going on here? Yeah, well, honestly, uh, you can't really play 3M unless it's behind the King Tower um, right now. Yeah, but, opinion. like, I, I know, but I figured that you, I obviously thought wrong. I was like, dude, he hasn't yeah. does any spells against me. What is he running? And then when, he saw, yeah. when, he, when I saw you play Dark Prince, I was like, okay, he obviously has, uh, obviously not, but I was like, he obviously has uh, Rocket, but not enough Elixir. Yeah. So not too bad defensively there from a from a main guy, but yeah, that's rip, man. Should be GG. I just need like a little bit of chip damage on the left hand side, then I can fireball it. But yeah, I trying. mean, I think that I think it would be a really good card in a few decks. Like Golem, I think would appreciate it if it was three cost. It's just, would you say that you would nerf like the Goblin? What would you nerf about the Goblin if you made it three cost? Or do you think it would be a bad idea to make it three cost because well, two stones are like there? I think that you can nerf or buff like any metric really, right? Like, it, I, I wouldn't be afraid. Like, I don't know why the, the team necessarily is very adverse to changing elixir costs. Maybe it's just because they want to keep things even, at least on one metric, to keep people to keep things consistent in the game. I mean, they've done it obviously for recruits and for uh, you know several cards, Pekka, Goblin Barrel. I guess they've done it a lot, right? Three Musketeers. Mm -hmm. What else? What am I missing? There's what other cards have they changed the elixir cost on? Uh. uh Heck, uh, cannon? Can, can, what, was Cannon 4? Uh, cannon was way higher, I think. Really? Yeah. I believe might, so. Maybe you might be wrong. right. I don't know. Now I'm like, now it's like quiz time. People in the comments are going to be like, how are you forgetting blah, blah, blah? Bomb Tower as well, right? Bomb Tower. Bomb Tower. What else? Now this video is like gotten off the rails here. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> uh, there's another, I think there's like, there's a couple more. Uh, no, Furnace was always four. Hog, was Hog five at one time? I don't remember. I remember Cannon being very hefty, though. Anyway, yeah. Mortar was five, I think, at one point in time, I think. Anyway, let's still stop this. I, I think yeah, but I think, that, I think that changing it to three would be uh, uh, feasible, but but I don't know. I, I like the way it felt in a graveyard deck, you know? I, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe it's just a matter of this is a type of card that needs like way more playtesting then you know this being the first time we picked it up you know what i'm saying let me yeah, just see man. what let me see what arena it's uh it's uh unlocked in as well do you know offhand uh i Let's have see. no okay. idea spooky Sorry. town so it's arena 12 3600 uh trophies and above so any it's a I rare guess, card too yeah it, yeah so i guess any final thoughts on the card tag and guys you should all check out uh sir tag on youtube I should have mentioned this at the beginning. Maybe I'll put a fly in or something. But he's going to have, like, you're going to have, like, an interaction video, you think? Yeah, I'm going to make a slight interaction video on the card and just checking out, hey, what is a counter? What does it do well against? And how effective is it? Is it going to be against, like, hog riders? How effective is it going to be against ram rider, battle ram, stuff like that? Okay, cool, man. We'll be looking forward to that. Uh, while you, I'm going to upgrade to star level too, just to see what he looks like at max yeah. star. So while I do that, any like final thoughts on the card? I mean, I know that you think that, uh, oh man, I'm going to have to go into the dev build. Edit it, quick edit, quick edit. All right, yeah. upgrading him again. Okay, sorry about that. Tag, uh, any final thoughts? Like, at coming away from the video, do you feel any differently than you did going in? I definitely think that he has potential. I think that there needs to be a slight buff to the hit points, the uh, potential of hitting error maybe before or, or something. I think there needs to be a slight buff and then it will definitely be a lot better. But I yeah. don't think it will be, see much gameplay as it is at the moment. Okay. I, we'll see, man. I'm 50-50. At first I was with you, but after playing him, like especially in Graveyard and stuff, I think that he might... He might be viable. He might be a force to be reckoned with, but we'll see. Time will t certainly tell. So, Tag, thanks again for coming on the channel, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, I will have to get you on again, maybe with maybe with that Wallbreaker deck you're talking about. Yeah, no doubt, man. All right, sounds good, man. Guys, check out Tag's YouTube channel and his social media. Everything that you guys need is Twitter, his Instagram, his Twitch. Man, there's a long list for Tag. Everything will be in the show notes below for you guys. Uh, huge shout out to Stats Royale. Check out Tag's player profile there as well. And to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out all that information. Guys, thanks for watching all the way till the end. Really appreciate it. And as always, take care, guys.